the Bronx Children's Museum hosts its second annual gala, bringing our future together at the Edison Ballroom in Times Square. The Bronx Children's Museum is actually a unique kind of children's museum with and without walls. For the past uh, eight years, we've been seeing about 16,000 children a year. And in early 2020, we'll be opening and we'll be able to increase that number from 16,000 to 75,000. The Bronx Children's Museum seeks to inspire children from infancy to nine years of age and their families to learn about themselves and provide an interactive place to learn and play. We, we make tree house, we sketch it, and then we paint it, and then we add materials to it, and then we put it in, in here. The museum also offers many theme-based educational programs, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Waters on the Go is a program to help children understand the Bronx River and Orchard Beach located in their neighborhood. We currently have a mobile museum and it, it moves all around the Bronx doing a lot of um, after school primarily and summer programs, uh, summer enrichment programs for children. But it's really important that they have a permanent location as well as continue to have the bus. It was helping the Bronx Children's Museum and they wanted a book about on that topic so I am an author. I've been on Sesame Street, I was on Sesame Street for many years and became an author after I left Sesame Street, so I thought I would lend my talents to any way that's going to uh, promulgate the mission of the Bronx Children's Museum. It's wonderful to be honored by anyone, but it's more lovely and important to be honored by the people in your hometown, in your own barrio. I was raised in the Bronx, so I have warm feelings about the Bronx. The Bronx has always been strong and powerful. Um, I'm seeing a rebirth almost of the Bronx. I'm so proud to be um, from the Bronx and I'm really proud of this Children's Museum because we'll, we broke ground in 2019. Um, God willing, the doors will be open for the children of the Bronx and I think it's going to be really, really special. The construction will be completed by spring 2019 and will open the doors by early 2020. This is Yesenia Ramos reporting from Midtown for BronxNet.